so this remix took me around, took me a while. It took me exactly two months, I guess. But I'm pretty happy with the way, I ca way it came out. So I'm gonna show you guys like how I made it. The first thing I did is, of course, is import it into Logic. Calvin Harris made it 128 BPM originally, but I wanted it to be a little slower for my remix. It's a quick and easy chord progression throughout, just the four, four chords over and over. E, and I did E major 7, B, G sharp minor, F sharp. But I just used sine waves to make the pad. I just threw on an extra electric guitar layer. It's like a really basic melody, I guess. I put in these, this harp because I want it to be like smooth. And that's at the same time that I fade in this Jack E snare. The only thing that I did for the actual build up is I brought in the risers, the drums, and I cut up the piano chords instead of holding them for the whole measure. Put on like a basic stock riser you can find on the internet. So the drum pattern is pretty basic. It's just um, the first part of the drop is basically driven all by this saw wave. And I just put like a delay on the attack and side chained it. There's two layers for the melody that's playing at the same time as like the Elenium Saw Wave or whatever you call it, like that big, thick one. And it basically just mirrors the melodies from the vocals. I made them both in silent, they're both Saw Waves. This exhale sound that I recorded of myself, it just looped on the two and four throughout the whole drop, I think. I added this like Lex Luger kind of. I love that one. So for the second part of the drop, I pretty much just recreated Louis the Child's Body Gold remix. And uh, I made that in Serum, and for each one I just automated or um, made different layers for the rate that, which it like wobbles, I guess. And uh, this one right here is just automated, like the pitch, so that's what, when you hear it like wub down, that's like how I did that. I put in like a bed, like, or squeaking noise. It's like a chair squeaking, I think, I don't know. Cashmere Cat does it a lot. The drums basically drive this whole section after the first drop and before the second drop. I'm watching a lot of John Bellion and he does a bunch of like offbeat drum programming. That's why I put in these, this second clap here, like the second and third claps right here. So it's like offbeat, it's like. This under melody section, I guess, with the drums is driven basically by dialogue, by the harp and the piano. The orchestra and orchestra hits just add like some crescendos and background stuff. For the second build up, I guess, in the song, I basically just added orchestra hits and I matched it with the drums. There's also like a slight guitar and harp melody that I put in but it's really subtle. So I put in this beeping synth, it just plays in between the orchestra hits. It's basically just a pulse wave. 
The build up is finally like topped off, I guess, by this sliding layer right here. It's just a saw on a pulse. And that side chain to the um, drums. And the drums are really basic. It's warped down the vocals, and I wanted it to clap on four, like almost by itself. So. <laughs> For the last drop, I basically had to leave the one and two beat empty because I had such a big clap on the four of the build-up measure. So that's why I had to pause and I basically just reused the same synth. I also added like a couple new ones with silent. Just so it fell at the low end and just a higher one. And just to add more texture because it's not the same chords. Like I cut the top. Cut the top ones. And I added like a new sub bass that like rolls a little more. After the last drop, the last drop's in purple right here. I went back just for the piano. So this piano right here is cut up almost the same as how I cut it up the build up the first time. So And I just added the um, orchestra chords, violin, harp, stuff like that, and I just slowed it down a lot at the end. And there's also like the exhale sound effect over it. Uh, I think that just about covers the song. In terms of mixing and mastering, I mixed it and mastered it like within like half an hour, so it's not as good as it should be. But I was too excited, I just had to post on SoundCloud. So uh, I hope you guys, I don't know, thought this was interesting.